Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how can how you can download and install and use the MangoDB in your Windows 11. First, let me choose my browser. I just chosen my browser and uh, type over here as a MongoDB. Okay, so here you will get the what a uh, first link which will be appear on the display. You have to select this first link. I just kick it out. So after this here so many options to be selected so under this I am going to select this product tab under this again I am going to select this community don't click on this community and select it community server just click it out on the community server so after this here you will be getting about uh, so many uh, details uh, now we are, we are in a mongodb community server and uh, this is the available downloads here you can click on drop down and you can get the what a different collection of the versions but i just selected as a 6.0.2 it's a current version and here a uh, multiple platform will be available you can select based on your platform also my platform is windows i'm just selected as a windows and here we have a uh, multiple packages one is the msi it's a direct installation package and zip means you have to extract i'm just selected as a msi and i just click on this download okay so it will take a moment wait until unless it will be downloading my download almost completed 16 second left Yes, it's downloaded. You just click on this MongoDB download setup file. And after that, you can close the background. So now it's showing the what setup file. Click on next. And here it shows some agreement terms and conditions. You just click on this checkbox, accept and accept the terms in the license agreement click on this next and just keep it as a complete here you have to click on this complete so first option already it has been default it has been everything has been selected you just uh, keep it as it is and just click on this next after this so this installation mango compass it's default selected you just keep it at as it is and click on this next and click on the install so now do you want to continue this application yes click on the yes and click on yes so now it's completely installing in your device
yes finally you click on this finish and you click on this no and just close it after that let me open my command prompt i uh, just type it as command prompt i am trying to open my mongo tp i just use the command as mongo d and then execute so now it shows uh, some error also uh, why because the mongo shell is not installed in our device so that is the reason it shows error i just close this and i again i will open my browser and i click on this okay and just type it as mongo shell okay the first link which will be appear that is mongo db shell download just click it out and here it will be selected available downloads it is a pure zip folder you just select as a download and uh, now the zip folder has been downloaded and I just minimize it and i'll open my pc and let me check in the download folders okay in the download i have this mongo uh, this is a what i word zip folder i just cut this folder and i paste on my desktop show more option i just paste and after this i am trying to extract this particular zip by using extract here okay so now we got one folder okay in this folder I just open it this folder so this folder has what some details okay so here also we have a bin and that bin all the details are present i am just collected this path and i copy this path and i'll open environmental variable just open it this environmental variable click on this environmental variable and double click on this path under system i create the new one path and i paste it and i click on this ok and finally click on ok and then ok and again i'll open my command prompt in that command prompt and pass the command as mongoosh m o n g o s h mongoosh so now it's connected our uh, database and it show using the uh, mongodb version is 6.0.2 so shell is also has been connected uh and that thing has been connected so now we can pass some commands how to pass the commands or uh, it's a basic command which i'm going to pass now so that is show dbs dbs are databases both are same okay just terminate and you can click on this enter it shows a few admin configuration local and my okay so if you want to use the particular database we use the command as use my okay so it is switched to the what my data base and after that you can insert the value you can update the value you can delete the value in the next video we'll talk about how to use the entire this mongodb uh, shell also along with the graphical user interface also thank you